Okay, this is the stack effect I just mentioned a moment ago. If you have air going out of your home, you'll have air coming in the home. Okay, so the cubic feet per minute is, if you can imagine a basketball, that's a cubic foot. So if I come and test your house, I'm going to put my blower door in the house, and we'll get to what that is in a second. I'm going to put that blower door in the house, <clears throat> and it's going to tell me how leaky your home is in cubic feet per minute. So I might get a number like, say, 1,500. So that tells me there's 1,500 basketballs can move through your home if I put a 50 mile an hour breeze on the outside of the house. <clears throat> so that means if we can slow the rate, so I'll come back later and check to see how effective we've been at air sealing the home, or how effective you've been at air sealing your home. I could come back and check it. If it's dropped to 1,000, we just dropped to 500 basketballs a minute from flowing through your home. But air in, equals air out, or air out equals air in. This neutral pressure plane here is not always in the floor. So someone mentioned, I think it was you, you mentioned earlier that your windows, you have air coming in. Generally what will happen on, especially on a two-story home, is air will come in at the, on the first floor windows and leave on the second floor. So if you sit by your first floor window, you always feel like there's a draft coming past you. You often sit on the second floor with the exact same age of windows and style of windows. You can sit beside it and you won't feel that draft coming past you. It's because of stack effect. That's why windows are not necessarily always the first thing to leak to, to, to change you, okay? So everyone clear on what stack effect? Stack effect is like a chimney. That's the easiest way to describe it. You have a chimney. If you try and light a fire in a chimney, if someone caps the top of it, what's going to happen? You're not going to get a draft. The smoke won't go up the chimney. So if we can, in your home, if we can cap off the top of the house, we're going to be effective at slowing air coming in, even if the holes are left down here. So here's the items in a, in a drawn view. Other than my photos, junction boxes of electrical junction boxes, tops of walls, chimneys, plumbing stacks, attic hatch is usually a repeat offender I find in homes. That attic hatches it like an exterior door. On the other side from you're in the room, that's your interior side, on the exterior side of that attic hatch, that is cold space, that is outside temperatures. So that attic hatch needs to be treated like an exterior door. It needs to have weather stripping and insulation. Again, <clears throat> here are some uh, images of when I've checked a home. This is a chase here for ductwork. This is what I looked at through my thermal imaging camera. This is bad. This is the ductwork that was coming up into the attic. A whole other thing going on here is all this ductwork was unprotected. This there's heat loss through the, that, that ductwork going up into the attic. And then there's heat loss through the chase that was going up to the attic. Not a, not a good uh, scenario of this house. Here's an attic access panel. Can everyone see, sort of imagine here what we're looking at? So when I'm doing my blower door test, all these little purple fingers here are telling me that air is moving in through that attic access panel. Unlike over here where this is telling me that that's just a cold surface. Okay. or a very wet surface, because if it's wet, it would also show up as cold in my thermal imaging camera. Gosh. Uh, <clears throat> here, open cavity shows up in the shower, so whenever the shower starts, it'll always condensate right here. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for when I'm coming through the home. I'm looking for all of these items. This is air sealing a, a plumbing uh, vent. This was in a condo that was, uh, it was about uh, eight to ten years old. Two little openings right here where wires come through that weren't air sealed led to this mold on the underside of the roof deck. You can see it again right there. 